And let's come to a nice easy seat here to begin. Wherever that is today, maybe it's with the ankles crossed in front, but maybe it's not. Maybe today you prefer the soles of the feet together or legs extended. As long as you can find that nice tall spine, we can lift up through the crown of the head and then we're going to relax our shoulders starting to make some space thinking about that space between the ears and the shoulders lengthening that out maybe blinking the eyes closed and just a few moments a few breaths here as we settle to find that breath and to follow its path as it moves into the body. And as it moves back out. Allowing ourselves to soften and to give ourselves permission to be right here. And on that next inhale, let's reach those arms all the way up overhead, stretching tall toward the sky. And on that next exhale, we're going to twist to the right, reach that right arm behind us, left hand to that right knee, nice and tall. And we'll gaze back over that right shoulder. Inhale for that length, exhale for twist. And inhale, reach up tall through center. And then we'll exhale, twisting left. And then inhale, stretch up tall. We'll plant that right hand and we'll reach up and over with the left. Feel that opening, that stretch all the way down the left side of the body. And then we'll come up through center. We'll plant our left hand. That right arm will reach up and over. And then back to center, we'll interlace our fingers back behind us, can pull those hands away, roll the shoulders open, open up the front of the chest, maybe lift the gaze just a little bit. If you wanna add some circles here, we can start one way. Nice slow deep breaths here, and then we can switch directions, circling the other way. Back to center, we'll release. And let's travel to our tabletop. Hands and knees, stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Let's draw some nice big circles here. Switching directions. And then into neutral with cat and cow. Inhaling for that cow. Exhale, let's round, tuck the chin, press the mat away. And we'll make our way back and forth. Use your pace of breath. Feel free to linger in either stretch if it feels extra good today. Taking one more breath. And then we'll keep our hips nice and high. And we're gonna walk our hands away for a nice puppy stretch, melting maybe that forehead, maybe the heart, the chin down toward the mat.
And then we're going to walk those hands up to the top of the mat. Spread those fingers. We'll tuck the toes. And let's make our way to that first down dog of our practice. Settling in here. Maybe you want to bend one knee, then the other. Take any kind of movement that feels good here in this first one. Hang the head. Sink those heels. And then on that inhale, soften those knees, gaze to the top of the mat, and we'll travel forward, making our way into a rag doll. Maybe we grab opposite elbows, sway a little. Keep the knees nice and soft, bend them as much as you'd like to here. Then we're going to release and roll ourselves all the way up. Let's bring those arms up overhead. Take a nice lateral to the right. Come up through center, lateral to the left. Back to center. We'll sweep those arms back behind us. Again, interlace those fingers. Pull the hands away from that lower back. And let's bring it into a fold. Hang the head, let the arms follow. As they're able, again, you can keep a soft bend in those knees. And then we're gonna lower the hands against the back, releasing down. We're gonna leave our right foot where it is. Step that left foot back. We're gonna open up to a warrior two, opening up those hips. And we're going to windmill those hands all the way down, finding our way to a plank. Maybe it's a high plank. Maybe it's modified, but nice and strong. Use those shoulders, press away. Exhale to lower down, squeeze those elbows in along the body. On the inhale, we'll lift the chest. And we'll send it up and back, down, down. On the inhale, we'll travel to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, nice flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we'll sweep it tall. Exhale, folding. We're gonna step our right foot back, coming in our warrior two on this side, opening things up, settling in, strong but soft. And we'll windmill those hands. Again, finding our right to a plank. Exhale, lowering down. Inhale, we'll lift the chest. And we'll send it up and back. Down, down. Inhale, travel to the top of the mat. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweeping tall. Exhale, folding, stepping left foot back, opening it up to that warrior two. Inhale, windmill those hands, step to your plank. Exhale, to lower. Inhale, baby cobra or your up dog. Exhale, we'll send it back, down, down. And we'll travel to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep it tall. Exhale, we'll fold or raise the back. Warrior two. And we'll windmill those hands, finding plank, exhale to lower, inhale, lift, down dog. Inhale, traveling to the top of the mat, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, sweeping tall. Let's take that lateral to the right. Up through center and lateral left. Inhale to reach. Exhale, interlace those fingers back behind you. Open up the front of the chest and then we're gonna bring it into that fold. We'll lower our hands against the back, release. Rest the fat left foot back, warrior one, or warrior two, excuse me, warrior two. We're gonna reverse our warrior, flip that right hand up toward the sky, breathe into that back. Moving to a side angle, we'll bring that right hand to the inside of that right leg, reaching up with the left hand, opening up that top left side body. Feel that breath breathing into the space. And we'll reverse. And we'll windmill those hands. Stepping back to our down dog. If you wanna add the bottom of a salutation here, you could. Floating forward, exhale to lower, inhale to lift, sending it back to down dog. And inhale, we'll step walker hop to the top. Exhale, fold. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to sweep up tall. Exhale, we'll fold and step our right foot back. Bending our warrior two. Settling in. We'll reverse our warrior. Inhale, we'll transition to our side angle, reaching, opening up that right side, breathing into the space between each rib, the space in that whole side body. And reverse. Warrior two. And we'll windmill those hands. Stepping back, down dog. And again, you can add the bottom of your salutation if you like. Rolling to plank, exhaling to lower. Inhale, baby cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we'll travel to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to sweep tall, taking that lateral at the top. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, reaching tall, exhale. Interlace those hands back behind, open up the chest and bring it into your fold. And we'll release those hands. And one more time, we're gonna sit the left foot back first. Warrior two. We'll reverse our warrior. Find side angle. Breathe. And reverse. Warrior 
Warrior two. Adding a triangle here, we're gonna straighten that right leg, reach forward and then tick tock those arms, trying to stack the shoulders. Maybe we gaze up at the left hand. Steady breath. And then nice and gently, slowly come all the way back up to that reverse. And then we'll windmill those hands, down dog. Adding the salutation as you wish. And then we'll travel to the top of the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to sweep up tall. Exhale, folding, stepping our right foot back. Warrior two. And we'll reverse. Side angle. And reverse. Warrior two. Adding our triangle on this side, we'll straighten that left leg, reach and tick tock those arms. Making our way back to that reverse. And then windmill those hands, stepping back, down dog. Adding the bottom of your salutation as you like. Two more breaths here in this last down dog of practice. Making your way as you're ready into a child's pose, taking those knees, maybe nice and wide, lowering the hips toward the heels, the forehead toward the mat. And then we'll walk our hands off to the left. Maybe stack your right hand on top of your left hand. Hang the head and breathe into that right side body. And we'll move it through center. We'll take our hands off to the right, maybe stack that left hand on top of the right, opening up, breathing into that space on the left side. And back to center. We're going to rise up through our tabletop, through our easy seat, and we're going to roll all the way down. Settling in here. Make sure those shoulders 
And those shoulder blades are nice and low. Doing a little bit of bridge here first. We wanna walk those feet in toward the sit bones about hips distance apart. As you're ready, you're gonna press, lift, and we'll hold here at the top. Feeling that breath as it fills the belly. Staying soft across the face and the chest. And we'll slowly lower all the way back down. Pausing here, reconnecting on our mat. Resetting those feet. Again, we'll press, lift, and hold. And slowly take your time, lower all the way back down. And we'll windshield wiper those knees a little side to side. When we're about even on both sides, let's come back into neutral. We're gonna pull our right knee in first. Extend that left leg, pull that right knee toward the outer part of the torso, up toward that right armpit. Give it a good stretch, maybe circle out the ankle here if you want to, both directions. We're gonna use our left hand to guide that right knee across the body, but goalpost that right shoulder so that you keep both shoulders on the mat as we come into this twist. And then we'll come back to center, give it a good squeeze. And then we'll release, we'll switch sides. We'll pull that left knee in. Nice big squeeze on this side, maybe circle out your ankle. The other way. And then we'll find our twist on this side, right hand. We'll guide the left knee, we'll goal post that left arm. And back to center, we'll squeeze that left knee in. And as we release that left leg, reach those arms up overhead, point the toes, nice full body length and stretch here. Steep breaths, filling in all of that space. Expanding. We're gonna walk our fingers and toes over to the right corners of the mat and making the shape of a banana. Maybe you wanna cross your left ankle over the right here. One more side opening stretch. And then we're gonna come all the way over to the left side. Open up that right side, maybe cross the right ankle over the left as we come over to this side. And 
spine and then back to center. One more nice big breath in this full length stretch. Now we're going to start to release, make our way into our Shavasana. Maybe walk those feet a little bit wider, let the feet fall open. Bring those arms down by your side, shoulder blades nice and low, and take any props that you want to there, a blanket, an eye pillow, any kind of support under the legs so that you can be nice and comfortable, relaxed. Returning to our breath. Blinking the eyes closed if it feels okay. Allowing the body to be still. Allowing the mind to find some stillness. Have some space. Clearing things out here. Letting anything go that we're ready to release into the mat, into the earth. And we'll slowly start coming back, wiggling fingers and toes. Some nice big deep breaths here. Maybe hugging those knees into the chest. Maybe rocking just a little bit before making our way to either side, to the left or to the right. And taking our last few breaths here to breathe in all the good of our practice and to exhale out anything onto our mat we don't want to take with us into the day or the week ahead. Rising up as we're ready back into our easy seat. Growing up nice and tall. Nice big breath. Thank you very much for sharing in a flow with me today. Namaste.